In my class, there's the prettiest girl in school. She, Mirai Hiragi, is versed in letters and arms, and gifted with both wits and beauty. She is friendly and kind to everyone, and is respected by both men and women. That's why people always gather around her. Her smile is as bright as if she were in a spotlight. I, Yuto Tanaka, watch from the corner of the classroom as she stands in the center of the circle of people. All the boys want to get close to Hiragi. Every day, I hear rumors that every single handsome guy in the school has confessed to her their feelings, only to have their confessions came apart. I'm sure everyone in my class thinks that this is completely irrelevant to me, a geek. But after school, as I was leaving the school entrance to head home, someone called out to me from behind. Hi, Yuto. You're on your way home, right? I'm not attending the tennis club today. Let's go home together. All right. We've known each other since childhood. Our families are very close. Well, you're a hard person. Yuto doesn't talk to me at all at school. It can't be helped. There are always a lot of people around Mirai. I cannot go to get in the way of that. <laughs> what is that? You don't have to care about it. You can talk to me more openly, you know? You know, I'm your fiancé. You? You're still taking your parents' words seriously? I'm planning on it, though. My parents and Mirai's parents have been telling us since we were little that they want us to marry each other in the future. I guess that's how Mirai got the idea that she was supposed to marry me. She started to say that she is my fiancé. Speaking of which, Yudo's mom and dad aren't at home today, are they? They asked me to make dinner for you. I don't need it. That's not necessary. I'll just buy some prepared food from the supermarket. Nope, that's not healthy for you. What do you want to eat? Mm, I want to eat an omelette stuffed with rice. Okay, that's it then. Let's go buy ingredients. When we returned home from the grocery store, Mirai cooked for me. What do you think? Is Mirai's special omelette stuffed with rice good? It's good. It's delicious. Hmm. You can give me more compliments, okay? Mirai's cooking skills were professional grade. I can't believe she can do anything. I think she really is a perfect girl. Oh, that's right. Can I stay at Yudo's house today? What are you talking about? You can't do that. Then, would you like to take a bath with me? Just like old times? We were kids then, but there's no way we can do that now. What would you do if something happened? You mean, if something goes wrong? It's okay. If we don't think it's a mistake, it's the right choice. My parents were okay with it too. No, no, no. What about that? They should think about their daughter more. But then, why don't you talk to me more at school? You always look like a stranger to me. I feel lonely like that. You're right, but if you talk to me, what will other people think of us? They will think we are not compatible at all. What do you mean we're not compatible? That's for an outsider to decide, isn't it? If we think it's good, it's good. Hey, why do you think I'm turning down all the confessions from other boys? That's... I'm going home for the day. I've taken all the laundry in. Good night. After saying that, she left the house quickly. I've made her angry. The reason why Mirai is rejecting all the confessions from other boys, it's probably because she's waiting for me to tell her my true feelings. I never confessed my feelings to Mirai before. It's not because I didn't have feelings for her. It's because I was afraid that people would laugh at me. The next day at lunchtime, I cut through the circle of other friends and talked to Mirai. Mirai, I want to talk to you about something. You two. Should we change the location then? No, this is fine. I like you, Mirai Hiragi. I hope we can be together forever. I want you to go out with me if you don't mind. Hey, Tanaka's confessed his feelings to Hiragi! Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? There's no way he can go out with Hiragi. Even the most popular guy in school couldn't. Idiot. There's no way a geek can go out with Hiragi. Thank you. I'm glad you said that. I like you too, Yuto. 
I'll gladly accept your confession. What? Seriously? This is totally unexpected! Our feelings for each other were mutual, and we ended up going out. But, as expected, the people around us criticized us for being no match. But let the outsiders say what they want. As long as we're satisfied, that's all that matters. After graduating from university, Mirai and I got married. Both of our parents were happy. They said they wanted to see their grandchildren as soon as possible. But it looks like that wish will soon come true. <laughs>